Hey heroes, Cap here, and today Marvel's Avengers gave us the very exciting blog post that gives us a lot of updates to what is to come to Marvel's Avengers, and that includes Patch 2.5, Jane Foster, the future. I guess I should call her June Foster, as it's pretty much confirmed in the blog post. So let's dive into it, see what it has, start laying it out, talk about cloning labs, because they're confirmed now. It's all very exciting. Smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more news. Now let's dive into it. So here we have the blog post for Marvel's Avengers. I'll be sure to leave a link down below so you can read the full thing. But ultimately, first off, that's just in, like, ah. Uh, that is beautiful. That logo is beautiful. Avengers Mighty Thor. Jane Foster is coming to Marvel's Avengers later this month. I'm going to guess the last week, probably the 30th of June, very last day. Maybe on a Tuesday if they want to drop it early, but I definitely feel like June 30th is probably the best uh, guess for when Jane Foster will be added. This also talks about how she's not a full Echo character. She will have similarities to... Um, Thor and his ability, she will be wielding Mjolnir, but her, her ultimate heroic will feature the all weapon, what we saw on Twitter, thanks to Miller showing that off. It's very exciting. Uh, kind of like almost uh, Hawkeye's ultimate heroic, where the arrow goes, his hunter's arrow goes flying around. What if Mjolnir just flies around while she's wielding the all weapon and still smacking around heads? I'm very excited. Her intrinsic will be different. A new overcharge ability. I cannot wait to check out Jane Foster when she gets added to the game with patch 2.5. And they continue to talk about what's after patch 2.5. And it is absolutely amazing because it confirms, which we already knew was coming, but it confirms Cloning Labs is on its way. And it will be the new Omega level threat, taking us up to two Omega level threats as the first one being the family reunion with the Super Adaptoid. This one will focus around MODOK and kind of what's been happening with him, his story, how AIM is involved with it, and what exactly is next for MODOK, or does this kind of wrap everything up for MODOK? I'm very excited to check this out. It will have an entry, though, of power level 175, which means you need to be 175 in order to achieve this OLT. Now, with patch 2.4, it's very easy to actually level up now, thanks to the ability not to have to do the raid or the OLT. You can do the events, level up, and get yourself to that 175. And of course, if you need help, be sure to come on over to Twitch where I stream live. I play Marvel's Avengers quite a bit over there. Jump in, I'll help you out. Let's team up and get you that 175 power level before this drops. Now we don't have news on when this will drop. It's all after 2.5 when Jane Foster is added to the game, but the promise of it coming is enough for me personally, because I'm super excited for another Omega level threat, for cloning labs, for MODOK, a multiplayer MODOK. It's all exciting times for Marvel's Avengers. So be sure to check out the blog post for yourself, read it, enjoy it, embrace it for all that it is and all that it has. There's a lot of details in there going over Jane, the future of it, and what is to come. I think this is the steps in the right direction and could lead to some big changes for Marvel's Avengers and a big spike and like a revitalization. As always, stay amazing. Until the next one, bye-bye.